We are the Social Democratic Party's presidential candidate for the 2023 election, Prince Adewale Adebayo, criticized Bola Tunubu's led federal government for adopting IMF and World Bank policies they had protested against during Goodluck Jonathan's administration. His remarks came amid the planned nationwide protest on August 1, organized by youth and groups via social media campaigns. Adebayo expressed skepticism that, uh, towards the protest, suggesting preemptively identifying and preventing what he referred to as empty-headed IMF drones from gaining power through elections would be more effective than attempting to remove them through riots. You know, he made the post in his ex handle where he said protests are similar to chair political gimmicks of so Buhari, Tinubu, and uh, the rest, protesting against Jonathan for the same policies that they are now pursuing, even with less humanity. And when we look at the next story, too, also talking about um, a, lit a little bit about the hardship that's going on, where the presidential candidate also from the Labour Party 2023 election, Peter Obi, also made a comment about us having unity to handle the hardship that's going on. Still making reference to when they mentioned that, oh, Peter Obi is the reason for the protest and is the one leading the accusation against him. And these stories kind of tally. And that's why I'm joining the two of them now to get your thoughts on this. First of all, on the policies that according to um, SDP's Adebayo that Tinubu is adopting after he protested against them. You see, there are things that are done based on political reasons. And there are things that are done on moral reasons. And there are things that are done on business reasons on religious reasons, or on social or ethnic uh, reasons. The reason why uh, the, the current president protested the IMF uh, policy could be best known to him. So uh, the big question I had expected, the SDP presidential candidate, Prince uh, Adewale is someone that I knew uh, uh, relatively during because of the campaign period. He's a sound mind. I also expected that uh, the accord presidential candidate, Professor Christopher Momole, who was the youngest presidential candidate then, followed by, I think, the SDP. In this cabinet of President Bola Metinebu, that most of these young Nigerians who had visions and aspirations for a better Nigeria would have been brought on board. The SDP presidential candidate is sound. They are called presidential candidates are sound. I'm talking about them because as young people, I was able to relate with them during the presidential campaign. So I expected that Mr. President would have brought them into his cabinet, give them responsibilities, so that they can contribute their own uh, experiences and their ideologies in making Nigeria better. Now, pushing blame on the supposed uh, plants uh, protest, it makes no sense. Everybody is aware that there is hardship in the land. When I saw that Mr. P2B, I have not been his fan anyway, is the cause of... Uh, the protest of uh, the hardship, uh, 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 protest, hardship protest. For me, I laughed. I said, how? So blaming anybody right now makes no sense. I'm aware we have that the National Assembly have cut off their, their, their salaries. Slashed by 50% yes. for the next six months. Yes, which is a good one. I want to commend the National Assembly for doing that. Even though most Nigerians do not believe that is okay, but Nigerians have advocated that our leaders need to cut costs. They also need to sacrifice. So even though they have not sacrificed their children and their wives for us, for them to sacrifice 50% of their salaries, at least is better than none. <laughs> So, so you're expecting them to make more than that. So I think the fifty percent is not bad. Okay. It's at least they've tried to a reasonable extent. Now there are like the student loan and other things that the president have started taking actions and responsibility 
the east west road they are fixing it most of the things that are annoying nigerians they are trying to fix it but like we said the economic immediate intervention should not end with the rice provision like i said that's not really what is best for nigerians now in this hardship the protest is the best for us right now I will not I will not say that the protest is the best for us right now. If we are advocating for a thing and then we have begun to see some level of changes, right, from our leaders, I will want to appeal that we still give them some time. So we should not protest. Uh, I will not want to say categorically we should not protest. I'm entitled to, to, I'm entitled to course, my opinion. You, my you opinion know. is that we should give uh, Mr. President and his team. And not protest yet. For now. Because of this uh, immediate responses well, they have we'll done. We'll have this conversation next time. Now I know that you are one of those Nigerians who have said, let's just hold on a little bit.